having me. Uh, thank you, students. Uh, first of all, I'm uh, really very really sorry for being late. Uh, something had come up, and I have to attend to that. Um, I understand that this is a uh, gender sensitization program, along with I think you are touching on the issue of sexual harassment at workplace or sexual harassment in general. Um, uh, I will. The medium should be English, generally. What is it? Okay. I hope that it is understandable to uh, all of you. Uh, thank you for the introduction. I uh, I'll just put it on record that please do not give me flower bouquets and flowers because they are very. They are not good to the environment. Um, the bouquets come in plastics, and uh, I don't think so. We want more of that in Pelham or in Kalimpong. Um, and uh, I did not know that. I think I did not know maybe so. So in our general practice, also we can stop using all these things. Uh, by giving such things, I know that you are trying to like felicitate me and try to make me feel special. But uh, thank you so much for the gesture. But simple gesture itself would do for me. I don't want uh, too much of a uh, you know grand gestures uh, for uh, myself. And uh, I would let my work speak for itself. And I don't want uh, grand gestures. Uh, thank you so much for, for that. Maybe you can keep in mind you invite other guests also. Let them not get into the habit of. Expecting uh, plastic wrap, big things, and all uh, to do that. To that. Uh, so I will go to the topic. Topic. Um, Today, uh, I will discuss about the young people, 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 gender sensitization, and there is another thing called sexual harassment. Right? Both of these are related with each other. I have worked. Uh, it's been how many years now? Eleven uh, years in service. Uh, I joined service when I was twenty-five. Eleven uh, years in service, and. Uh, 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 for the past five years, I was also the presiding uh, officer for sexual harassment, the internal complaints committee uh, app of Calcutta Police. Calcutta Police has a force strength of almost uh, 21,000 uh, personnel. And uh, um, I was heading the uh, presiding uh, ICC, I was the presiding uh, officer. I have conducted over nine uh, sexual harassment complaints and inquiries. So I have a fairly good idea about uh, sexual harassment at workplaces and sexual harassment in general, ICC Gopatana. Uh, I will touch that later, but firstly we can uh, talk about gender sensitization, right? So I am very happy that uh, in the crowd there is uh, there are males as well as females, uh, amongst the instructors and teachers also and lecturers, there are males as well as females. Um, usually, what I'm mistaken is that gender sensitization is not the case. Right? Normally, it is focused only on the girls. Kids are not going to gender sensitization. Why are you talking about that? Girls are not gender sensitization. They are the gender. Uh, but it's the boys who actually need uh, gender sensitization. We think I'm supposed to be able to do that. Girls also need. So it's always better that kids are not going to be mixed. Girls are going to gender sensitization programs. So always more effective, more uh, uh, good, nice. So um, I will try to keep this a little bit interactive. I will be throwing questions to you, and I would uh, expect you to give whatever comes at the top of your uh, head. Jee thoda like uh, has an instinct thoda like answer unza. Jee thoda like answer unza. And this is not restricted just to the students. I will request the teachers also to uh, participate, or the lecturers also to participate in this. Right? So uh, why are we talking about gender sensitization? And you teach your kids women empowerment. Uh, you uh, to give them equality. One guy, you a platform. You yes, so what are the key? I'm going to this one. You know, because the world is moving hopefully towards more equality, right? Right? Yeah. And second is on the darker side. You can be committing an offense if you are not. Oh, if you are not gender sensitized. If you do that much order work, you will end up committing an offense. If you don't have any things or something, you don't have any things or something, you don't have any things or something, you don't have any things or something. 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 But now it is what? It is a legal word. It is a sexual harassment. It is a sexual harassment. It is a sexual harassment. यार क्या चीज़ उसको नाम नहीं आ सकी कोरा कॉलेज को वो गॉड का जन्म बहुत अच्छे से पिछले उस साल गॉड का बोमन में सॉन्ग तो कोरा भी गॉड का बॉस है ना बहुत अच्छे से पिछले जान चुका है और ये इट्स कंसीडर्ड रोमियो सिंड्रोम वो एंड एंड एस इट वाज बिलीव्ड थ्रू पोर्ट्रेट ऑफ मीडिया
स्टॉकिंग एंड स्टॉकिंग इज अ वेरी सीरियस ऑफेंस ओ स्टॉकिंग का तो फिजिकली तो दोनों साथ तो तब के लिए बड़े करने वाले तब के लिए बड़े बातें हैं वो तब के लिए बड़े बातें तब के ना तब के बड़े बातें हैं ना तब उसे के बड़े तब के प्लीज बड़े करने जाने से तो कार्य को ले लो जब तक पार्टी लाओ मुझे बोली बड़ा भी नहीं जाने से कार्य को ले लो जब पार्टी लाओ मुझे बट मे बी दैट गर्ल इज नॉट लाइकिंग इट इज नॉट फाइंडिंग इट कंफर्टेबल कि मतलब तब के वो मन में कि गुड थॉट्स है जब उसे के के बड़े जाने से मे बी शी इज थिंकिंग कि एक दिन आ रहा वक्त में लाइ स्टैप पर सो मे बी मन ऐसे फैक्ट्स है बिकॉज़ दिस आर थिंग्स वेरी कॉमन थिंग्स अब ये तो नहीं होगा आपको पूरा बोल सकते हैं तो ऐसे थ्रोइंग, शूटिंग, स्टैबिंग, दिस आर वेरी कॉमन थिंग्स। वो, सो हाउ मस्ट द गर्ल्स सपोज्ड टू नो? ये तो मतलब मैं सिंपल एग्जांपल दे जो हमें लेकर आने की कोशिश नहीं कर रही थी। वो, एंड आई वांट टू कन्वर्ट दैट इनटू स्मॉल वीडियो, सो इट्स गुड when we do that video i maybe i will take volunteers from uh, the college or to be a part of that video it's a small video and um, it is based on an experiment ki vakya bhane ami le bato ma ho just see the difference right here because many of you i understand girls as well as boys believe ki gender sense is not dorkar chaina ke jo log jese ka kaam hui sake isko kar sake ki dorkar chaina pura pura apne protection chahiye sab ne ho cha ho cha ye dena dena and they They, everything that they feel, they say it is based on something, you know. Now, again, experience is based on our experiences, right? So, if you are a certain experiment, you should ask. You know, just like what I mean. Um, just like what I mean. We asked a number of girls. Oh, we asked a number of girls. He, I'm sorry, I'm doing something. The experiment was like what? But no matter what, what? What? What do you do to go? Especially when you are not tired for a long time. Yeah. But that is not gender specific. Because who get a who? Banana bar. 
violence hai na am i being able to get the point ho ke ma ke ma le dhura khayo bhane bato ma kuki na khancha ya ta pahile dushmani huncha ya ta ke chain lagera jeste ko chindai gardiyo bhane ya ta pocket te gardiyo bhane ra hai na ya ta new khoj khoja khoj huncha tara tyo keta ho tyo keta lai chai maile violence garnu sakchu ko garchu bhane ra ta hunda na ta hai na that can happen when the boy is a nani and the perpetrator is a predator abo tyo sanu keta because there are many perverts and pedophiles pedophile ha chani you must have heard of the term so the only time when the boy is feared for uh, in this respect is when there there is a pedophile kina bhane unar bhanda thulo keta unar bhanda balwan keta unar bhanda balwan mail who can overpower them what's any gender sensitization feminism patriarchy all this is connected to power plays we have sociology ko tyaa yaha chha students haru maybe there are some of uh, them political science sociology so uh, violence against women is never about love who oh? so there may be many women out there or in their families there may be uh, men or women whose mothers are suffering so or they are suffering violence is the crimes against women is never about just violence to pite ko matai haina tyo rape gareko matai haina tyo molest gareko matai it is about power play it is about it is about sense of power tyo keta le the person who is doing it usse kina garcha not because he wants to have fun or he wants to have sexual pleasure it is because he feels that he has the power to do it usse usse dabaunu sakcha ए यत्रो केटी त हात खुट्टा पक्रि हाल्छ नि इट इज द सेन्स अफ पावर एन्ड द सेन्स द प्लेजर ही विल गेट आउट अफ डोमिनेन्स सरेंडरिंग अब लुलु गर्दिनुस भन्ने दैट हाई दैट द पर्सन गेट्स आउट अफ डोमिनेन्स बिकॉज़ ही थिंक्स ही इज अ मेल एन्ड ही इज एन्टाइटल्ड टु इट हो द वर्ड्स दैट आई एम यूजिंग आई एम यूजिंग वेरी मैले सोचेर समझेर युज गरेको है एन्टाइटलमेन्ट पावर पावर प्ले ऑल दिस इज डोमिनेन्स ऑल दिस थिंग्स आर इनहेरेंटली रिलेटेड टु gender sensitization so as per there is a counter narrative counter narrative jo ke bhancha yo gender sa ab bhai basnus na gender gender sensitization ko jo counter narrative ke ho bhane counter narrative ma cha yesto bhancha ki um uh, uh, manliness like attack gareko bhancha oh can anybody say what is manliness can anybody can anybody ma'am what is feminine and huh. you are we have specified feminine that's why there is a man here huh. but basically it's a species when homo huh. sapiens huh. what you are saying huh. this discrimination is being often just a bold this is very important for both genders to take be present right we are telling the women not to do not to do this don't go out don't wear short clothes don't uh, this one no. and on the other hand recently we have started telling the males how to behave after that sections of laws have come ki piche piche jana ha अब पहले भी बोलते थे आई उस लड़की के पीछे मत जाओ कौन सुनता कौन था नाउ आई बी सी सेइंग यू कैन नॉट गो अदर यू गो टू जेल नाउ दे विल हैव टू लिसन राइट सो व्हेन यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट जेंडर सेंसिटाइजेशन इट्स नॉट मेल सेंसिटाइजेशन इट्स सेंसिटाइजेशन ऑन बोथ साइड्स व्हाट द वुमेन शुड एक्सपेक्ट कि वुमेन शुड बी टोल्ड दैट इफ समबडी इज फॉलोइंग यू विदाउट योर कंसेंट यू शुड से नो एंड यू हैव दीस राइट्स टू परसन आई आई विल गो फर्दर इनटू इट So what has happened is over a period of uh, you were trying to say something. Actually, man, I want to explain the term manliness. Uh-huh. I come back. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. So as we told, that man is privileged. <laughs> he thinks that he has the authority to stalk a girl just because he has the more power. Uh-huh. And in this sense, society teaches a girl that you should behave as a normative. Uh-huh. Okay, you are weak, submissive. Uh-huh. And if you want to counter attack a male attack on you, so you should behave like a man. Man. So man thing is. So that is also a gender bias. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So when we are saying that, uh, can anybody tell? Because they try to do something. Man thing is something. Okay. What image comes to your mind? Let's think of an image. What image comes to your man thing? Because they get something. Anybody knows what it is? Who's it? All. You see this macho. I mean, the man, but the hairy. Do you think of uh, the immediate image? If I have to compare, oh, man, but the hairy. Rajpal Yadav for honor, Akshay Kumar for honor. No, which one? Which one? Man, but the. Akshay Kumar for honor. Which one? Now, if I say Akshay Kumar for honor, Ra, my leg. Anushka Jhinnega 
सब कर फैशन शो कराइद बाइबी डर को एंड ऑल सो दिस हेज बीन से फ्रम दम बिगिनिंग एंड इट हेपन सो 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 इन एडवर्टेंटली इन एडवर्टेंटली अनइंटेंट सब कन्सियस में पसिज क्या हम हम केटी नानी अब कस भत्खई में बोला समबड़ी एज कल फॉर अंडा प्रसन्न या भात कई और समथिंग लाइक दैट के दोकन में गए राम पिंक कलर को रातो रंग को ड्रेस यू विल यू विल नो थिंक अब ब्लैक ड्रेस टू गो टू अस्तों लोधरे लिया रहे भाई हो यू पीपल थिंक दैट हो ये धुस्स कलर नानी कस्तो केटी भाई पिंक फ्लफी व्हाइट तो एंड देन सो सो वेन एज अ बेबी हो एज अ बेबी एज अ यंग चाइल्ड इफ आई हेव ड्रेस्ड अप माई गर्ल चाइल्ड As normal colors, in any normal colors, who oh, the baby gets used to them. But if you have forced into the mind of the baby that pink is what you will get, pink is what will make you look nice, white, fluffy, glittery, all these things are for you. You look nice in that. And then, and then the words which parents very recklessly use nowadays, and which is which does cause a big problem when they grow up adolescence, is the word princess. When you start addressing your children, your girls as princesses. कि इ फुट समथिंग वाला प्रिंसेस सिंड्रोम प्रिंसेस सिंड्रोम भने के हुन सक्छ यु फील द वर्ल्ड इज एट योर फीट हो एंड यु विल गेट द बेस्ट ऑफ इट सो दैट प्रिंसेस सिंड्रोम इज अ वेरी अ प्रिंसेस इज वेरी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम अ क्वीन व्हेन इट इज यूज्ड इन नॉर्मल कल्चरल थिंग कि माने बियोंसी लाई के भन्छ क्वीन भन्छ हैन व्हेन यु व्हेन यु ट्राई शी इज अ क्वीन भन्छ हैन सो क्वीन इज सपोज्ड टु बी पावरफुल क्वीन इज सपोज्ड टु बी बट अ प्रिंसेस इज सपोज्ड टु बी डेलिकेट fragile to be protected necessarily pretty who oh, so all these things puts already biases in the minds of the girls as well as the boys keta ho just what there you will be a king who oh, fighter who oh, tyo garnu keta ho princess banaunu ho oh, bhanda keri tyo ho so so there there are two branches esto esto sundai sundai garda gari chai there are two ways it can go one way the girl conforms who oh, the girl conforms or the woman outrightly rejects so there are two ways in which they go and how can the rejection happens once the girl comes across some experiences who oh, some the personal or other experiences gets a particular kind of a guidance or intervention in life who oh, yes to bhayo bhane chai it then divert from the norm now when you said um, uh, bodyguard and you say bomba mole the first movie i remember watching as a kid you guys do not know at all you guys have different generation i think was uh, yeah but uh, people we have no was two movies i remember uh, two movies i remember very well with all the dialogues was one was kranti veer of uh, nana patekar and another was tiranga हो सो त्यहाँ त के थियो हो के रोल है त्यहाँ बिच बिचमा आएर डान्स गरेर जान्थ्यो हो सो आवर इन्टायर फोकस वाज अन अल द्याट नाना पाटेकर एन्ड राजकुमार एन्ड अल द्याट दे आर टेकिङ अफ गन्स एन्ड दे आर फाइटिङ अगेन्स्ट द एनिमिज अफ द कन्ट्री एन्ड दे आर किलिङ गुन्स एन्ड अल सो वान्स आई कट एक्सपोज टु द्याट आई वान्टेड टु बी द्याट वन हो अब त्यो केटी इफ देर वाज अ फिमेल क्यारेक्टर थ्रू आउट द मुभी मे बी आई वुड हेभ समाउ अटाच्ड माई पर्सनालिटी टु द फिमेल क्यारेक्टर एन्ड फाउन्ड फाउन्ड माई प्लेस बट केटी बेसी त्यहाँ इफ वाच द मुभिज युअर सेल्फ यू विल फाइन्ड उनीहरूको रोलै छैन बिच बिचमा केटा डाउन हुँदाखेरि आएर अलिकति सपोर्ट गरिदिनु हो अन्तखेरि नाचिदिनु एन्ड टु ब्रिङ द्याट अन्डेस यू नो क्विट इन सेन्सियल सेन्स अफ रोमान्स इन द मुभी त्यो गर्नुको लागि मात्रै दिन सो वाट ह्यापन वाज द्याट आई वान्टेड टु बी अ पुलिस त्यो पिक्चर देखेर नि <laughs> and i didn't care that you know this ma ke luga lagaunu parcha ke garnu parcha tyo garnu parcha i wanted a gun i wanted to be a police ho oh? and the, so i uh, so luckily what happened was i got by, i got pay, such parents tyo dasai ko bela ma they got me a jacket with one star ho oh? and the kind of as you know diwali ko bela ma te pataka parkaune tyo cap cap pataka parkaune bandu pani payo tyo ho so Uh, so the thing was it would happen at the same time so oh, in the in meanwhile my sister always wanted to be a doctor who oh, usne pichhe gaye na he she always wanted to who oh, and uh, she always to usko lagi chai doctor ko set kinde thi ho mo chai yani ra banduk har parkara gunda ra marera injured bhara aunthe and then the kind of didi le chai she just wanted to have her baby usse the injection laga dena is the bhara she used to make me all right and again i would go in my ventures ho oh, Uh, for no point of time did any of my parents tell me that a uh, police is a man's job they, they they didn't know they just 
thought maybe that yeah she wants to she is she is liking it go ahead and now you go like because if a small boy is a more pilot to choose which father and mother so pilot okay come 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 i'll start teaching you how to fly the course of father this is saying that you know they are just saying things like that so it just continue uh lucky for us my sister is now a doctor i am a, a police officer who oh, and uh, the thing is but this happened because nobody told us that i am doing something unfeminine nobody told us that police is something which is not for women because honestly it is not it is it is it is for everybody oh that is another thing that the percentage of police in the indian entire indian force is less than 7% oh but if you take across ranks but but nobody told me that police is a male's job oh so i continued and class 8 ma i heard of something called upsc and i was more the police inspector who told me that i was thinking then I, somebody told me of upsc and this one then i prepared for the exam during my college and then i sat for the exam oh in class 8 was the time when i made up my mind that i want to be an ips officer oh so so these things sanu the inquiry to you also what you are exposed to is important oh so when okay uh, fine i was not exposed to all this and all whenever you get a chance to expose yourself to such things you should never dismiss an idea because it does not fit with what you already think instead you should give it a thought man ke aaj is test to bhanyo kosto chhu hunchha chhu testo chai ke tele ha ke tele kya chamki chali pa ki follow garda that is what you may think ho oh, but not all girls and even if they who feel that they they like there are some um, uh, women and girls is a common thing in uh, case of domestic violence you have a line up plus one person pura kuda khara huncha bura ko bara ki aankha ha yesto bhai rahe huncha and when they come to us they are totally injured some of them have been sodomized and when they come and when we tell them why don't you take maintenance and you apply for divorce leave with dignity the line which they say and which puts us off by how did you ask again is why not a pura na maya garcha ki that the whole pura ko le je ne kintu khub bhalo bashe ne he he loves me a lot but but he loves me a lot so i don't want to find a case please arrest or when not don't arrest him just tell him and the day we tell him the next day is normally the highest amount of violence it happens and and so i keep telling them and i keep telling you also because you are in this age where you are just figuring yourselves out who oh, if a person a person who loves you will never hurt you and never 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 physically hurt you a mental you can from such a on on intentionally something has happened guys have had a fight he said something yeah, stupid you said something stupid things like that but if somebody has physically hurt you that is the biggest red flag you can get to come out of that relationship this goes for males as well as females no this is not the buri ko kutai khanda ke liye jo ke mai bhi dekho physical hurt after adulthood is a no no do not accept it do not perpetrate it on anybody इवन बच्चा में भी होते बट बच्चा में के होता है फाइटिंग हो नानी लड़ाई पर्स दिस दैट हेपन्स एंड ऑल बट वाट यू रीच अडल्टुड फिजिकल फॉर्म अ वायलेंस इज अ नो नो प्लीज दैट पर्सन डज नॉट लव यू प्लीज बी अवेयर ऑफ दैट हो दिस इज वन थिंग सेकेंड थिंग वाट एडोलिस जेनरली हेव अ सेंस एंड विच नीड्स टू बी ब्रोकन डाउन इज द सीवियर सिंड्रम सेवियर सिंड्रम के होता be last year the girls were affected by severe syndrome what do you think he is very bad he takes drugs and all but without me i will change him i will i will make him a better person do you do you agree yes sir do you agree yes i am the savior i will change him my love and my femininity and my this one and all his womanly glory will change him and bring him make him a better person Your job is to find a job yourself and start earning and stand on your own. Your job right now is not to reform people. Please don't take first take responsibility of your own lives. Change them to a standard. 
then you can help people, you can do charity, you can send people to rehab, you can send people for counseling. But your job is not to reform the other person, especially if the other person is violent. What you can do if you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend whom you, whom you think that you know is otherwise okay but I have to change that person and I have to be the savior, you can suggest that person to therapy. Calcom District Hospital has a mental health unit. There are uh, therapists available there. Uh, Postdoc is there and he, he, he has uh, other uh, employees are also there. Please get help. Not for yourself, for himself also. And as for the kids, everything is available online. Even therapies are available online. You need to make a certain payment and you get that sessions, telephonic sessions with the therapist. So, so do not think that you are the, on the boy's side, do not think that you are the protector. Oh, I have to protect this girl and I have to take all the crutches with the entire world to protect her. No. For the girls, it is not your place to be the savior in charge and um, rescue these uh, uh, boys. If you want to help somebody, if somebody is into drugs, this is largely true for people who are into substance abuse. Send them to rehab. That is the best thing you can do, do for them if you love them. So rehab, it's like almost four, four, five months ago, he will be on the treatment. And he'll come back. Same goes for girls also. Oh, so, so when we are talking about gender sensitization, the first rule that you need to question the existing norms and see if there is a logical reasoning to them. In case there is another way which is more comfortable to you and which is more logical, try to follow that. There is no hard and fast rule. Oh, but the entire idea about gender sensitization is about, that's why I use the word gender, not male sensitization is because the bottom line is to be respectful towards another person male or female or in between because as you know gender is now not binary gender is a spectrum right people identify themselves as different things it is our personal whether I will agree to it, whether I will accept homo uh, homosexuality, whether I will accept these transgenders but on the public plane, when you are interacting with the public, on a public scale, gender is no longer binary. There is an entire spectrum in between and we have to be respectful to that person just because that person is a human being. Oh, so when you are respecting another person just because that other person is a human being, then what happens? Gender is doesn't matter, economic status doesn't matter, caste doesn't matter, race doesn't matter, ethnicity doesn't matter. So that is the bottom line for all sensitization programs. Respect another person as a human being, as you would want to be respected. If you want your boss to give galis to you, you give galis to your subordinates. If you want, if you like it when your boss talks nicely to you, you talk nicely to your subordinate. If you want other person to give you respect, you first give respect to that person. Because it is none of your business who that person is inside. What preference that that person has? Like, masu ka number person ki, guest ka number person ki, who like kita number person ki, kiti number person ki. It's none of your business. So this is, uh, this is just gender sensitization. Actually, is a long topic and it goes for uh, that entire day. So I'm just touching upon it on the basic issues that I want to be highlighted. Oh, think, reflect on the traditions and this one that you've been following, on your behavior that you've been following, and see if you can bring any changes to that. Right? Our sexual harassment, I am. Related to this. So, you may say that sexual harassment is a bit tricky point. And always when I say this, I say this because a lot of things have changed over the years. For example, I will be using certain unparliamentary words all during the course of this uh, thing only. Only to put forward a word. For example, if like uh, a person of maybe the uh, your lecturer's generation. Oh, if the person is told, fuck you. What, what would that person think? About who are born in the 70s and 80s for beginning, if they are told about what if 70s, let's say, that generation, they think, how dare you? You will take it as what? You will take it as a sexual affront to your it is it is an assault, sexual assault, verbal. Right? But I look on your room, they use it as a greeting. <laughs> well, earlier, during our time also, bitch used to be a very derogatory word. When somebody has heard somebody calling the person bitch, you're like, oh my god, how? But now it is, hi bitch, this is, this is how you Yeah, am I wrong? Am I wrong? No. You can watch, you can watch all the OTTs from where you draw most of your languages, 
with your dress culture, everything and all. Um, um, platforms you can watch Euphoria, you can watch all these um, uh, things. And so all these things, the thing, it has changed. The implication has changed, right? So when we talk about sexual harassment, it is always important to know the context in which that harassment took place, right? So if I am friends with a guy, okay, and I am ex I am in the habit of exchanging lot of jokes with him. Oh, he also sends, I also send, and we have a good laugh about. So suddenly some fight has happened, and uh, he has sent me a non -visual. Now, before I claim sexual harassment, I can claim sexual sexual harassment because sexual harassment is more with you. Any act, any gesture, any remark that is sexually colored, one time. Oh, it doesn't necessarily have to be a graphic representation. Oh, it just can be a sexually colored. Oh, I can totally take that thing and say, see, he has sent me this message. Now please stand uh, inquiry against him in the internal complaints committee and I want him to be dismissed. I can do that. Oh, but as an investigator, as a person who is inquiring, the person has to the person needs to see the context in which it has been exchanged. If it is shown that they are in the habit of exchanging such things. The, I would request the inquiry officer to question the complainant ki, have you, after this particular fight or anything, have you expressed that do not send me such things in future? Oh, so for sexual harassment companies, we always take that they should, it is always advisable for a person with whom a long relationship is there. Um, if a stranger comes and ropes you, there is no uh, thing. Oh, but if a person, normally sexual harassment complaints come between people who have known each other. For a, for a long time, especially in a workplace, oh, yeah, for a long time. So it is always advisable. In the end, it is a discretion of the uh, inquiry committee, but it is always advisable to find out okay, whether if a particular relationship was shared, oh, and then whether there was any express thing to stop it. And even after that express thing, if an action has been taken. Are you, are you guys getting it? So tomorrow you, you may be having a you, you may be having a relationship with your partner. Oh, with your boyfriend or your girlfriend, you may be having, you may be having a relationship with your girlfriend, right? Also, you, you guys are you guys are physically also intimate, alright, that is going on. And suddenly you have a fight. Oh, you have a fight. And after the fight, you think that you will go and make up and you will again get intimate with that person. If that person has expressly stated in no, don't do it. Any action you will do after that will be harassment. But if that person has not said no and said okay, this, that, and has agreed to it, consented to it, and later as a vindictive approach has decided that I will use this, then it is the duty of the inquiry internal complaints committee to look into that aspect. Oh, so, for a girl as well as a guy, it is always important that you put very explicit boundaries when you want it. To tell very clearly that I want it or I don't want it. Please don't talk to me like this from now on. Simple thing. Please don't share such jokes with me from now on. I don't like it. Go to Pachi, I'm not You just have to express. Because maybe that guy is coming from a background in which all this is very uh, okay. Maybe the girl is coming from a background where all this is very conservative and nobody speaks anything even about the guy. Want to balance both. So, for women as well as men who face such kind of violence or such kind of intrusion, it is always important at one point of time to say, don't do this. I do not like it, don't do this. So that puts a know, Usually sexual harassment complaints are one word against the other. It's very difficult to prove. If two people are in a room, use a hand, use a All this is one man's mouth against the other, one man's word against the other. Oh. So, in this, the internal complaints committee has to try to find out in the most scientific way. They will try to gather as much evidence, I know, otherwise it will be vain. So, they always have to look out for these kind of questions. If at, at any point in time, had you told him or had you told her not to do it? Oh. Unfortunately, right now the Sexual Harassment Act and the Sexual Harassment Co Section, Sexual Harassment Act is a separate act, and the Sexual Harassment Co Section is under IPC. Both of them are worded against them against males, against males in the sense that, kita, let's say, complain one no, fine no. 
But if the perpetrator is a male upon a male, it can come. Because the word is whenever a man. So, so if it is if the perpetrator is a man male, you guys can file a complaint. It is upon the um, um, administrators and the authority to decide what to do with it. Oh, and uh, this is about sexual harassment. Always put a border, always put boundaries, and try to put clear boundaries so that people know you, people respect your boundaries. Land encroachment is a It is a civil matter and it happens all the time in every place. Why does it happen largely? What is the major cause? When there is no pakka boundary around the property, that people are going to get a lot of money, they are going to get a lot of money, these things happen, right? So, in our personal spaces also, we should try as much as possible to clarify that boundary. Oh, I like this, I don't like this, I want this, I don't want this, I approve of this, I do not approve of this. If there is no clarity, I am confused about this, but at this moment, I don't want it. When I am clarified about it, I will let you know. Especially for women, it is very difficult to say no. Oh, it is very difficult to say no, but we have to try to put it on. Because it's, if empowerment, what is empowerment? Empowerment is... Not about earning more, not about working in the police or being in the army, women wearing pants. This is not empowerment. Empowerment is about having a choice. Whether I want to work in the army or I want to work in the in a hotel, whether I want to work or I want to stay at home, whether I want to earn, I don't want to own, it is about having a choice. Oh, so please express your choices. Have your clear boundaries. In case there is sexual harassment, please do not hide it. Because what you are doing is, you are unnecessarily protecting that perpetrator. Firstly, you can tell. If you know that person, you can tell that person directly, Ki, don't do this, I don't like it. Oh, if that person sudrara, if that person doesn't do it anymore, good, fine. Maybe that person also understood. Ki, maybe I was wrong in doing this, I should not do this. But if that person continues, do not stop yourself. Please, you have to file a complaint. Because he may be making other victims. Oh, so this is this is a classic case in which what happens is most of the um, folks who uh, accused are not defined. They have had a history of minor molestations. These things are very common. So most of the times when the parents hide it, parents hide it, it ends up becoming more brutal in the end. Also, you should report it. That is the first thing. You should put up your boundaries. If you know, if you don't know the person, if a stranger comes and grabs you, you can directly body other person. Oh. But if it is a person you know, you uh, if it is brutal or if it is you are really you have the right to. Oh. But you should always put up a point to say no, I do not like it, I do not want it. Abo, there may be a confusion in your mind, ki, nah, madam, ta, file ta, no, one person, then what the one person, one I say, no, no, I am not saying that. You can, the complaint, the right to complain is yours. You can do it at any point of time. Oh, but in case you don't want to complain and you don't want, you want this to stop also, you have to very clearly communicate to that person that I do not want this, don't do this. Oh, but we will always encourage people to come forward and complain. Because that, will, that is the only thing that will put an end to it finally. And if there are any questions that you need to ask about gender sensitization, about gender issues, anything that may be coming in your mind, don't feel, uh, don't feel scared, and, like don't be hesitant to ask because uh, I, will, I, will, I will only say what I feel or is in my opinion. Anybody has any queries? Any issues with what I have said so that I can further explain? Ma'am, may I say something? Yeah, yeah. Actually, I think you are the best example of and some of our students who are always encouraged and they are in my, uh, I am from the English department so some girls are very much interested to go for UPSC. I always encourage them to go and I think you are the best example of a lady being an IPS officer and your uh, this dress uniform suits you very well. Thank you. Lecturer, you will uh, understand. Lady officer. <laughs> are, are you are you getting what the problem is with that? 
Well, if a male officer comes like my OC, will you call him male officer or gentleman officer? No, oh, ma'am. But there was a need felt to categorize me as a lady first and then an officer. Okay, so these are the subtle things that that lie in your subconscious. This one. Huh, yeah. Your introduction. Also, after the introduction, it's not the criteria. Yeah? Basically, your gender is also yeah. a criteria. Yeah. So it is okay when females think that. You see, for us, it is always a problem in to be in these positions because at one time you have to have that neutral, non-gender face. In the same time, there are so many women looking up to you, so you have to play that role of a female um, um, person also. Oh, so that's that's okay. That is that is completely fine. But but just uh, this was just an example. I was trying to show okay, how subconsciously these things are ingrained in our minds. Oh, so when when uh, today the flowers were to be given to me, oh, the college decided that. These, these, these madams will come. tomorrow there is a program. Well, so many male staffs were there. And, uh, and any woman could have given the khada and the flower. Right? But they decided that ladies will do it. Because it is a lady's job. There is nothing but a lady's job. Whatever pays is a job, anybody should take it. So, the thing is, Houses also, when you are in your homes also, found out that when guests come, nani kar chya banar liye na. So the parents automatically, if there are, if the son and the daughter of the same age are sitting side by side also, the mother or the father has this automatic gaze to look at the daughter and say, good chya le raide chito. And the girl, daughter also never questions in her mind even once. It is in her, oh yeah, yeah, I, I'll go, go and get it. And the boy also never thinks, why did she ask the daughter, I make better tea? So, so it's all ingrained. And these are the things that we should not pass on to our generations, right? A job is a job. Whatever job gives money, whatever job pays and gives you a decent standard of living, you should take it. Irrespective of it being, there's nothing called a male job or a female job as come. Nothing. There will be one job which is female's job, woman's job. Or a one job that is totally male's job. Surrogacy, that is not a job. Even for job, surrogacy, they have said that payment, payment will not do. In case if you do it on charity, that is good. If you are getting payment, that it is illegal. Oh, so, foreign countries, you can say, but giving birth is not a job. Anybody can think of anything? Sorry, ma'am. It is a privilege. <laughs> I will not say a privilege. Okay, okay, good, good. So, what is happening is, it is giving us another angle. Put babies. And motherhood and this and no. What I told you, treat another person as a human being. Human being. Right? As a human being. Now should I come to this point? Yeah. Actually, <laughs> no, student. from Anwar Limba, she is a professor of English at the University of Pennsylvania, USA. No knowledge is innocent, but profoundly connected with the operations of power. So the concept of Griha Lakshmi that we try to make a woman or a wife in our household. So we think that the woman should behave like an angel in our house. And you see, an angel can only live in heaven. But whatever her husband is, maybe she's drunk, maybe she is beating her, or I mean he is beating her, or maybe he has already made up that household as a hell. But still he expects that his wife should behave like an angel. And there is a poem by Coven. Uh, Coventry Patmore, he's also from uh, English, very an English poet and literary critic. And the title goes like, The Angel in the House. And I quote to lines here, A man must be pleased, and to please him is woman's pleasure. So see how the poet tries to portray a woman in patriarchal discourse. That yes, he should, should be very meek, he should be very weak, it should be submissive, subordinate, and the dominance. So through literature, some writers, some canonical writers, they always try to establish and perpetuate the patriarchal dominance over the woman. And we always expect that the woman should behave like a Krihalakshmi. 
And I also uh, refer to another text by Maya Angelou, you might have heard about him, uh, her, because she is very famous yeah. American writer. And the title is, I Know Why the KJ Bath Sings. It is an autobiographical uh, novel. And here, the KJ Bath, so it is not free, it is KJ. So that's why it is bound to obey the orders from its master. So similarly in society, when women are put within the four walls, and they are economically deprived. So she thinks that I'm completely dependent on her husband, that's why I cannot go against her, against him. So that is the concept of Griot Lakshmi, and the literature tries to establish the dominance of male <coughs> androcentrism over the uh, women. Okay, whatever, maybe she is good, she is fine, there is no problem on behalf of her part, but still the husband expects that my wife should be like a Griot Lakshmi. And this concept is very much prevalent in canonical literature. Nowadays, fast forward to 2022, we have some sort of change, changes because there are writers, we call it uh, Henry Gibson's at Doll's House. In Doll's House, Henry Gibson presents the woman, Nora, in a very pathetic way. She always suffers, suffers at the hand of patriarchal society. And at the last, when she realizes that, no, I should revolt against this pattern. And at the end, he is going against the society. That means you are Grihalakshmi, you are like a Sita until you have a voice, until you protest. So that is a concept that is very much applicable to what yeah. you are saying. Thank you so much for that. In gender sensitization discourse that is happening, the counter narrative that is coming is that such kind of discourses are breaking houses. Right? You are breaking houses. Now women are getting more independent, God forbid they suffer a divorce, they sir. So Anybody has anything to say about that? Divorce, you are encouraging divorces when women are becoming more independent. No, 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 not sensitization. Because women are getting more empowered, they are getting financially independent, so it is breaking homes. These are the lines which have been used even by politicians in public meetings. Actually, when a woman ceases to be oppressed by her husband and needs some independence, only then clashes are happening. Yeah, so and whenever a clash happens, whenever a clash happens, so it is taken that it was the responsibility of the girl, of the woman, that because the woman got more empowered at this, that she started demanding things that it had happened. But very few people actually talk that the situation for this thing was already set. It was only when the flag was raised that it broke down. Right? So, uh, the idea of this um, um, uh, session is not to change your thoughts overnight. It is for you to encourage, it is for us to encourage within you a sense of questioning and thinking. The term which is used in sociology, I'm not a sociology student myself, but I love reading about sociology, debunking. So, you keep asking me why did this happen? Like I asked you, why did she give me flowers? Why didn't they give me flowers? Why did she, why will the daughter bring the tea and not the son? So, these kind of things are. So, for to change these kind of things, you will have to question what you think. A, a man in his 30s, if he is going bald, and a woman in her 30s, if she is facing the same problem, the stress that a woman will be under is. 2000 times higher than the stress the male will be under. Right? Because the girl has to, the image is of a long hair, silky hair, nice. This one, nobody imagines a bald woman in, in the picture of a woman in your family. So, the thing is, like you know, and people often um, tell me that why did you cut your hair short? Um, you know, I have very long hair. I have very long hair. And the reason why I cut my hair short was not because I wanted to be a man or I wanted to be manly, certainly or look like that. No, it was because it is impossible to maintain your hair in this service. You have to move suddenly to your case, but no, do no, but no, but no, but no, but it's impossible because you have to move in such short notices. Oh, so for that sake, for your, because I didn't want to waste more time, that's why I cut my hair short. But you should not think that, oh, she has got her hair money, now she wants to look uh, money. There are, you have to understand that a woman also has so many practical problems that she may also want to uh, resolve.
right? So, uh, thank you so much for having me here. If there are any questions, I would be very happy to answer. Uh, uh,